it's time to search for some chemical engineering jobs. Okay, what's this process engineering stuff? No, process engineer for, uh, no, process engineer for coatings, no. Wait, what? what's up with all this process engineer stuff? Either way, let's apply to this process engineering job. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome once again to the channel. It's always great to have you back. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. In this channel, we talk about chemical and process engineering for both students and professionals. So it's great to have you here. Now, one of the questions I always had when I was a student is what is chemical engineering and what is process engineering? It's something that I always mix or apparently are similar or used interchangeably. I don't know guys, sometimes I had to search in process engineering books and sometimes I had to check the chemical engineering books, process engineering, chemical engineering. I was always having this doubt. Are they similar? Is it the same or what's the difference? And more importantly, is a chemical engineer the same as a process engineer and vice versa? Is a process engineer the same as a chemical engineer? So that's why I prepared this video because I'm pretty sure you may have this doubt as well. So let's get with the obvious and that will be the formal definition. So as you can see, a chemical engineer is someone that works in the chemical industry, typically in the engineering field, and the main task of that person is to design processes, work and operate in industrial complexes and produce chemicals that are used in either other industries or in final consumer products. In the other hand, we have the process engineer, which is, as you can imagine, a engineer working directly in the process and tweaking the variables in order to improve the final product. So they look pretty similar, but as you can imagine already, chemical engineer will be typically associated towards chemical stuff and process engineer will be associated towards any kind of process. Of course, a lot of chemical processes can be there, but we have other mechanical processes, electrical processes, and overall industrial processes that require an engineer working in the field. So as you can imagine, technically speaking, a mechanical engineer, an electrical engineer, even a civil engineer, and of course a chemical engineer could work or could be a process engineer. Meaning that these persons or engineers are in charge of improving the process. Either if it's a production of a mechanical piece or a machine or any kind of equipment, or if we are talking about a chemical process, how to improve the process, the efficiencies, the reactor output, conversions, distillation, separations, and all that. So you could say that all chemical engineers could in theory be process engineers and most process engineers are chemical engineers. This is true in the oil and gas sector in which you may find a lot of process engineers that have different backgrounds. Either mechanical engineers, petroleum engineers, petrochemical engineers, chemical engineers, industrial engineers, and electrical engineers overall. That's why I think we can separate similarities and difference of a chemical engineer and a process engineer. First, typically there is no process engineer title. You cannot go and study for process engineer bachelor or process engineer master degree or so. Typically you go for a chemical degree or a chemical engineering degree, mechanical degree, environmental and so on. Number two, it's very rare that someone looks out for a chemical engineer as a job because chemical engineers are very, let's say, broad. You may be talking about a chemical engineer working as a process engineer that will be changing temperature pressure of the process in order to prove it or you can be talking about a chemical engineer that designs a chemical plant or you could be talking about a chemical engineer working in the marketing area what products are moving and so on so chemical engineers are very diverse compared to the position of a process engineer nonetheless when we talk about process engineer it's, it's the very first thing that you will imagine a chemical engineering looking job for so for instance that was my case i didn't know any kind of jobs i just knew i wanted to work in the chemical industry or something related towards manufacturing so i applied and i ended up as a process engineer in the polymer and textile industry of course as a chemical engineer that made sense but i wasn't looking for a chemical engineer job at x company or so i was looking for process engineering jobs or something related towards process engineer overall 
One of the most important things I will say that a process engineer may differ from a chemical engineer is that the process engineer needs to forcibly go to the area or to work in a factory or a chemical plant because process engineers are all about improving, all about operating, all about producing, all about quality control, all about how the process is actually done. So they go to the machines, they go and talk with people, the operators, they get together with their bosses to see what's the next step, what's coming, maybe there's a raw material changing, so they will need to change or tweak some specifications to get to the product specifications or final specifications. Maybe they need to get with the maintenance team in order to coordinate when to stop, how to start up, and when to continue with the production. Or maybe they need to get to the production team and see how much amount is required, how much quality is getting into, I don't know, maybe first quality, second quality, and waste quality or so. So as you can see, the process engineer is in every stage of the process, either production, maintenance, maybe even electrical, controls, automation, and all that. So probably you're wondering, isn't the chemical engineer doing that as well? Well, technically speaking, not always. You can have chemical engineers designing, so they are in an office working, designing for a process or so. They may be working in strategy, so what products to sell, what products to incorporate in certain markets, what products to retrieve. They could be also working towards selling or buying equipment or maybe even chemical plants or so. They could also in theory be working directly with the client in an office or so, not necessarily going to the chemical plant. And there you have it, a difference between a chemical engineer and a process engineer. I hope you have now a clear mind on what's the main difference between a chemical and a process engineer. So straightforward, a chemical engineer is the degree and it's a very open field. There's no typically jobs on exactly chemical engineers. It's typically the degree that you study for and it's the field overall and there are a lot of positions or let's say job positions that you can get as a chemical engineer while the process engineer is this unique job position that is in charge in improving the process and getting the product within specifications. I hope you enjoy guys and if you're a process engineer please let us know in the comment section what do you think is the main difference between a chemical engineer versus a process engineer and if you have been working in different process engineering jobs what is the difference between I don't know maybe a process engineer working in oil and gas versus a process engineer working in a bulk chemical company such as ACIS or chloralkali or maybe in a fine chemical company. I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of differences especially on R&D or how to treat the client, the interaction between the production, maintenance, quality teams, and so on. And on my behalf, that will be it, guys. I'll see you in the